Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. Welcome back or welcome to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you're new here, let's go ahead and get into what we got to get into. Okay, y'all. So starting off with the video, as you all may know, the Billboard end of the year results have came out for the music and for the artists. Okay, so some artists are ranked on higher positions on the charts, some are lower. Some songs have ranked higher, some are lower. But here is the thing that kind of had me questioning the credibility of these charts, okay? Now, the Billboard year in chart for rapper, female rapper to be specific, has came out, all right? And the results are a little bit weird. They ranked Lotto as number one on female top rap artist for 2022 i'm gonna repeat that again they rank lotto as number one for 2022 top female rap artist i disagree wholeheartedly okay when the hell did lotto get number one on any of these charts for billboard when did she get over 10,000 pure sales in one single week on billboard for her song when did she ever even see a big peak in streams day? It just seems like her team and her label are paying for her Grammy nominations, paying for her billboard placements, paying for her radio play, all right? Because we don't see any real impact of Lotto in this industry other than that goddamn radio. Other than that, we do not hear Lotto. She released many other songs since then. Um, for example, the whole Crack the Club Up, whatever the fuck that is, that song was a hot-ass mess, okay? The song is not getting any streams, no nothing, okay? That P-Valley-ass music is not cutting it. The P-Valley-ass, pussy-popping-ass music is tiring. We don't want to hear that no more. So the fact that they're saying that she was number one on the list when we had Nicki Minaj, who had a number one on the actual Hot 100 charts, broke the most sales for the first week of a song, and she was on the top 10 of Billboard for the longest solo female rap song of the year, okay? Now, if you ask me, I feel like people are paying for these Billboard placements on these charts of these year-end charts, because at the end of the day, who the hell was putting Lotto at number one? And that's the problem with the industry is they gas up these artists so quick to the point where they can never actually be successful. That's why Lotto thinks she's on the same level as these other artists. You are one day in and you are up here comparing yourself to Nicki, calling her your rival. The industry loves to give these newer acts, these accolades and these accomplishments when you barely proved yourself as an artist and you're getting all of these recognition, all of these different, like you don't deserve it. And if you're a new artist and you break in the game um, with a sample and you don't really follow up another hit without a sample, to me, it just seems like the artist is only big because they sampled a popular song, okay? It's different if an artist can have another hit song after a sample um, but if an artist only can get popular off of a sample, to me, it does not mean the song is a hit, okay? People are just hearing the hit song and they're resonating with it again because the song is so big, all right? So that's just my opinions on that. She did not need to be top one, not even top 10, maybe top 20 on a good day. But for real, for real, I just don't agree with that chart. Let me know how y'all feel about that. And let's go ahead and move on to this next topic, okay? Okay, y'all, so as of recently, we got an update for Nicki Minaj's plaque, um, RIAA, which is the official record certification company for the total amount of, like, sales, streams, and all of the, like, credibility that the song has earned, like, platinum, gold, diamond, you know, all that. The RIAA is responsible for acknowledging those achievements in music, okay? So the RIAA has recently sent, a, sent out an update for... Nicki Minaj's two songs okay her team I guess they updated it so the one song that was updated was Goodbye with Jason Derulo and Will I Am with Nicki Minaj and then we also had her song My Chick Bad her feature with Ludacris that went platinum three times platinum three times platinum okay now the other update was the motorsport okay now the motorsport went six times platinum all right that has just been updated okay now to me the conversation is in the motorsport song all right 
Now, everybody is saying that the reason for the song even going to see that success is because of Nicki Minaj, and they're now calling it Nicki Sport. They're not calling it Motorsport because they feel as though Nicki has the most impact on the song. And I would have to agree, okay? Um, since these new updates came out, I hope that she does not mention the Motorsport song. I hope she does not mention it, and I hope she does not um, talk about it because everybody is talking about how Cardi and Nicki are now sharing the same accolade. Now, to me, that's not an issue simply because we all know who really ate on that song and we all know who wrote their verse on that song. So I don't think there needs to be any type of like petty discussion about the whole motorsport um, accolades because we know who wrote, who wrote their verse on that song and we know who actually did and delivered on the track. All right. So congratulations to Nicki Minaj for her updated plaques on the RIA updated accolades all right so let's go ahead and move on to this next topic okay yeah so i also want to get into how cardi b aka miss botch face is now facing backlash for that botched ass so um there has been discussion on social media um she posted a video of her on twitter walking around showing off her body just showing off how she looks how you know what i'm saying she's looking but the question is like people are noticing like why is her Bot, lower body sh shaped like the letter p okay they're wondering why there's like big meat at the top and there's no leg um they're they're just con they're just concerned for her they're just wondering sweetie what's going on with that ass where's those thighs to match what's going on with that body they're just really concerned for miss cardi b and i really do feel as though she you know she's insecure that's the bottom line of it all is that she's just insecure Okay, when you're insecure, you will continue to undergo these procedures and all these different things to make yourself look better about yourself because you feel bad about yourself. Okay, and you know, she just had her child, so I guess she wants to get back into that body that she had before she had her child. Um, because you know, sometimes with mothers, they it takes them years to get back to their bodies before they had the child, all right? So maybe she just wants to get back to her body quicker or whatever, but I just definitely can wish that these people at least make sure it looks right make sure it looks even make sure it looks natural um but if you're going for an unnatural look hey we can tell but i just don't recommend it but i mean hey at the end of the day if you love your body that is all that matters i'm definitely here for body positivity so if you feel like you look good and you shake like the letter p you think you look good and your your legs don't match your thighs your butt don't match your thighs or your legs then go for it you know if you're happy i'm happy but yes y'all that's all i have for you in today's video i don't want this video to be a little too long so i'm gonna go ahead and end it off here um but yes go ahead leave a like subscribe tap the bell if you enjoyed this video and um yes i will see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching be safe